Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, and we're here in the Concordia Historical Institute Museum in the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. And here we have to my right a picture of Ferdinand Sievers, a guy you've probably never heard of. He was sent to Michigan by Wilhelm Lea in the 1840s. He became a missionary to Ojibwe Indians, and because of Sievers, many, many Lutheran congregations were planted all across the northern Great Lakes. Over 100 years ago, a man named Theodore Nather took his family to be a missionary in India. Who would have thought that the result would be our first international partner church, our first mission plant, a church now with hundreds of thousands of believers in Christ from India. He gave everything he had and in fact died there. What an amazing effort. And you know, efforts like his are still going on all over the world. We have missionaries in the four corners of the earth, lay people. We have pastors, we have deaconesses, faithful men and women, and their families often with them in places that are often lonely, sharing the gospel of Christ, teaching about Christ, teaching in schools and doing all kinds of other activities, having mercy on people in the name of Jesus. And that's just what Jesus wanted. The Bible tells us that Jesus had compassion on the multitudes, and then he said, pray the Lord of the harvest send workers. Well, the moment is ripe for us. Because of the Missouri Synod's strong biblical positions, the Lutheran world is coming to us. Huge churches looking to us for help in theological leadership, in training their own missionaries, in training their own pastors, their deaconesses. And that's just one big part of what's happening worldwide in mission. There is a veritable tectonic shift going on, and we need people right now all over the world. That's why we're coming to you. It's your chance to support a wonderful missionary. Please listen to what follows and pay close attention. Some of the blessings of working in the Dominican Republic that we're looking forward to is actually being able to connect to people personally and being able to witness to them face to face and then also share the love of Christ by doing mercy projects such as giving them the support that they need especially if they're disabled or if they need education don't have access to that. Foremost our mission in the Dominican Republic is to spread the gospel of Christ Jesus and his love that he has for all of us and especially for those that need uh, acts of mercy such as uh, we, there's an orphanage that um, is focusing on helping kids with developmental disabilities and other folks where the culture there just doesn't have the resources and support to help them to be successful in their lives. So at Mercy Projects such as this, not only can we witness to the children, but also help them get the care that they need to um, have wonderful and fruitful lives. Um, and I'll get the chance to work with the school. And there's a, a K-8, I believe at this point, um, school, Lutheran school. So it's in a about half an hour outside of um, Santiago, so it's more of a rural setting, um, fairly poor, um, not a whole lot of resources, but we're looking to um, bring that educational level up for those kids so they have opportunities also. Although we will have challenges there, such as learning the language and learning a new culture, we know that we're not doing this alone. We know that God's behind us and His Spirit's going to help us be successful at this mission and it's definitely a challenge that we are looking forward to. Whether somebody can, you know, support us financially or not, prayer, you know, doesn't cost anything and telling a friend if, if anything that they can do to let everybody know what the church is doing, what God is doing in Latin America would be a wonderful blessing. I'm so glad you got to hear from one of our missionaries. I love talking to them when they come back to St. Louis. We schedule meetings and debrief. They tell me about their joys and sorrows and challenges, and we always pray. I have prayer cards for the missionaries on my prayer desk in the office, and it's a real treat when I'm able to go overseas and see these folks working in the context where they've been placed. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Give whatever you can. The gift is acceptable according to what a person has, Paul says. But be generous, be generous, and the gospel message shall fly forth all around the world for the salvation of many souls. 
Thank you for your support. God bless.